on second and eight. The left-handed tongue of Iloa looking for the former Bear Adam Shaheen, and it is broken up. So Bush and Houston Carson each getting the start. On third down, Tonga Bailoa pumped and lofted it away, and it's a three and out to start for the Bears' defense. And then uh, Williams is sitting there saying, hey, what happened to my trophy? <laughs> <laughs> On third and four, Dalton will rifle it towards the middle, and it's incomplete. Looking for Darnell Mooney. Oh, this is going to be exciting. The rookie out of Alabama, who is one of the electric special teamers in college football, Jalen Waddell, the number six pick, former teammate of Tua Tonga Bailoa. From the 13. Better put a body on this guy, man. He put together some electric moments in an Alabama uniform, in particular in special teams. Plenty of time for Tonga Vailoa. Lofting it up there, and it's caught by Mike Gesicki. The excellent tight end sheds a tackle, and finally Houston Carson runs him out of bounds. First and goal for Miami. Quick slant, it's caught, and down to the one-yard line. It off. Third and goal. Hand off Brown. Ogletree's there! What a play! Shoots the gap. And Jason Sanders, the all-pro kicker. What a year he had last year. Did not miss a single field goal on the road on that defense. I love line. their interior. They are a beefy group now that should be able to free up Quinn and Khalil Mack on the outside. Tonga Vailoa on third down. Oh, man, into a tight window. The catch is made by Hollins again. Oh, Raiders made by against Las Vegas. Tonga Vailoa evades the pressure, showing off that excellent footwork, and he finds Malcolm Brown. You're including a couple of starts at slot corner, a spot that the Bears need some help. Right back to Gaskin, and there's some of the speed of Miles Gaskin. The former Washington Huskies got the first down. Another four-man rush. Tunga Vailoa, end zone, dangerous pass intercepted by DeAndre Houston Carson. With dealing with Justin Fields, so going in the wrong, wrong direction right now. Fields, rolling right. Firing across his body, and he's got Damian Williams, so they'll get that cushion yardage back. Third down and four for a set to the outside and reaching in there, Duke Shelley, to help break it up from 35. This guy's aces, 6 nothing. The picture of that play in his mind, and he even talked about it, and Matt Nagy talked to us about it last night, that he's starting to see that picture, he's getting better at calling the plays, and he's been practicing because he's willing to work at it, and he's, he's, he's now the senior defensive assistant, and Chris Rump will now be added as their defensive line coach. Brissett under pressure, somehow caught away from James Waters. It ends up being an incompletion after all that. And I think you're right. It's going to be more in vogue. Teams, some teams have done it with two cross uh, scrimmages with teams. So it's going to be more and more around the NFL. That one nearly intercepted his fields, lofted it. Four years as a Pittsburgh Steeler. Comes with a lot of catches there. Yes. Over 40 receptions pretty much every year. Last year as a Detroit Lion. Justin Fields fumbled the football. It is loose on the sideline. Fields was racing back to try to rescue it. Rather than being backed up uh, back to his uh, end zone. Jacoby Brissett firing, and he was able to find Lynn Bowden. Got Michael Joseph playing as the deep man. Brissett lofts it up the sideline. He's got his man. It's Savant Ahmed, and it's a touchdown for Miami. There's Khalil Herbert in. Fields. Plants and fires, and he's got Lacey to the 30-yard line. Not going to put Tua Tunga, Tunga Viola in there until he was ready. Fields, check down again. Herbert has the first down. Given from Day to Nagy about Nagy's rookie quarterback. Another check down to Herbert. This time, he's able to force himself out of bounds. Third down and five. Given Fields a chance to throw it again. 
across his body and he connects. He's got Justin Hardy. Seven seconds left. Fields has to be ready on this snap from the 43. Slings it out sideline. He connects with Jesse James. Trying to close the first half with points from 53. Bears on the board. And obviously would just dazzled in that game against Clemson. Wow. You know, again, displayed his toughness, the six touchdowns. I mean, this guy is a, really a physical, physical quarterback. Across his body, on the move, Riley Ridley, a guy that he's familiar with from their days at Georgia together. First and 15. Fields arching it up there. What a grab by Rodney Adams. Beautiful touch, beautiful catch. First down. Fields gets away from the initial pressure. Little fake, little shimmy, and a lob up to Rodney Adams again. The rush coming to his right when the pocket was collapsing as well. Hands it off for Herbert. Bounces to the outside. Khalil Herbert showing off some of the speed. First and goal for Chicago. They did get a lot of single high safety down there, and then it's one-on-one -on -one with the receivers. Has a good set of receivers down there, and he ran for 15 touchdowns. Flag is thrown. Fields avoiding the pressure. Just Take like it off. Right, here. right on cue. Justin Fields to the end zone. We'll check the flag. Look at the poise, though. He's sitting there. He's looking. He's processing. Steps up. Feels it. Now he's trying to get guys to clear out for him. He knew he was going to take off with it right then and there. On second down, draw play. Ahmed, first down. With speed, takes it out across the 30-yard line. Played in the CFL for a couple years before coming to the Bears. Bears bringing pressure. Reset going down. He'll fire away. For this coaching staff. On third and six. Nice read. He finds Adams and a good defensive play by Igbenogany to stop Rodney Adams from the line to gain, but Igbenogany may have taken the worst of that. Scooter Harrington out of Stanford is the tight end in motion. They'll pop it to Herbert and he pops the first down and more. Front Elijah Wilkinson as well. The Dieter, he's done a lot of weightlifting. Very strong player at the guard spot. Fields using the legs once more. Look how fast he is. First down. He can accelerate fast. See this? Adam Redmond is at center right now doing the snapping. Here's the boot again. And Redmond is there to block. Throwback. Fields has Jesse James. Back pedals in. Fields with a touchdown. And the Bears take the lead. Nice play, a little chilly roll, so they got to respect the run. Throwback to Jesse James. They want the pocket passers in Miami. It's the way it looks to be structured right now. And he's going to get wrapped up. Charles Snowden and Mike Pinnell. Throws underneath, and it's incomplete. Trying to find Dokes and Caleb Johnson, who got beat in coverage against a running back earlier. That time was rock solid. Command of the huddle yeah. is, is such a big part of Huge. it because you're, you're selling the play or giving tidbits of information to players of what you're expecting on a play. Artavis Pierce got rocked on the outside by Perry. Person, at least here. Malcolm Perry had to back up all the way inside the 30. Former option quarterback at Navy who did some fabulous things in his college career. Saw Austin Calitro number 60. He's in for the Bears defense as Miami has good field position from the 50. Reed Sinnott over the middle and he's got Chris Myrick who lost the football. Bears have it. Picked up by Dante Deontay Ruffin. A rookie out of Western Kentucky. Third down. Just a four-man rush with a spy. Sinnott's going to take off, and he's going to pick up the first down. Good effort by Sinnott. Good in the rotation, comes with a lot of experience that you mentioned, and he rotated in for Chris Jones last year for Kansas City, and, and I think that was a good pickup by Chicago. Snowden putting pressure on Sinnott, but he 
Fitzpatrick style almost lobs it away. On second down, blitz coming. Pressure on Sinnott. He gets away initially and then finished off by Daniel Archibong, the rookie out of Temple. Hands off to Artavis Pierce. And Pierce breaks through and breaks free. In the Dolphin territory, still on his feet inside the 35. Nice individual effort by Pierce right here. Did not miss a single PAT in his Virginia Tech career, 131 of them. And a rock solid kick. Which I actually haven't looked at the back of my hand in a long time, so I actually don't know what that analogy means anymore. More pressure on Sinnott, and he has to launch it up into the air, and it's incomplete. Sam Kamara with great pressure. You mentioned his name a couple of times. It's going to be a tough test for the Bears defense out of the gate with the skill position players yeah, that they have. Yeah, they want to run the football, and obviously a more deadly, accurate quarterback than Matthew Stafford. Well, he breaks it through. How about no? He's, He's done it every preseason. Ryan <laughs> Null, a big run, first and goal. 39. Yards. Call meetings that you go through and it drives coaches bananas <laughs> when the parade personnel is not on the field.